It's Jason Hewlett. H-E-W-L-E-T-T, -T, like Hewlett Packard. No relation that I know of. We haven't researched that. You did wonder. <laughs> so what are we doing? So this is the second year we've seen you at Roots Tech, I think. That's right. I'm sorry. <laughs> and why did you come back? Well, they invited me first, and then I like these people. You know, not every event do I get to be with groups that I really, really love, because sometimes they don't love me very much. Mm. Other times, the backstage isn't very fun. Mm. And this one, everything works. Yeah. So I see you work a bit with school kids. I do. Groups of youth. How do we uh, compare? I lo <laughs> <laughs> well, you're a little more attentive, a little more sedated, but... You're, you're actually, you're more preferred as far as for an audience for me, because uh, with kids now, their attention span is a little bit interesting. Mm. It's gotten worse with electronics these days, and so doing that with the children as far as assemblies or speaking in front of them has gotten to such a challenging place that now I only do that for leadership kids. You know, that's they're that they're that tough. But you, but you guys in, as an audience are awesome. It's fun. You're actually happy. You're happy people. <laughs> oh my gosh. So we don't know as well as the Americans. No, no Americans know me either. But I've been reading about you. You um as you say on the websites, you're attending these Right. Sure. I mean, I think that when we're laughing, we are learning because we're not realizing that we're learning. A lot of the time, if we go in with the thought of, I'm going to be educated and this guy has to convince me why I should listen, then our brain shuts off a little bit. But if I can make you laugh by doing something that ignites something in your brain that gives you a reason to listen, that'll get me right to your heart, where you really do learn and you retain. And so I call it an engagement experience. And uh, rather than just saying, I'm going to come in and, and make you laugh, I'm going to come and make you laugh, but there's a reason for it. Right? That's, that's the hope. And here at Roots Tech, I'm not a keynote speaker. I am introducing the keynotes. I'm helping run the event, connect the dots between one piece to another. And so my role really here is to make you laugh, to make you happy to be here, to give you opportunities to win things and to connect with each other and then to tie it all together with this video. Oh, hey. It's fun. So are you on every day? Yeah. Whoa. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. No, I'll, be on, uh, I'll be on Friday and Saturday and Saturday I'll be doing a lot mm -hmm. because Saturday I'll do that pre-show oh. like we've been doing and then we'll bring on the the lovely lady who'll be here, Natalia uh, oh, Lafricata. Yeah, and then after her, Hank Smith and I are speaking for an hour and sharing some new uh, things that I can't reveal right now. Oh, go you on! You guys are gonna go bonkers <laughs> over what we have, and my family's going to help me with that. And then I get to interview a bunch of the singers that close out the the afternoon event. So. Yeah, I'm here. I'm here all week. Oh, wow. Be sure to tip your waitress. <laughs> <laughs> so, so where do you hang out normally? Where normally do you live? I'm at home. Yeah, but where? I live in Utah here. Oh, you do? I yeah. live down the street. Okay. About 40 minutes away. And uh, we've lived here our whole married life, my wife and I. Uh, we've moved and come back and moved and come back, but we're here now. And been married 17 and a half years. Such a lovely thing. Babies. And we have a 12-year-old girl, and boys are 11, 10, and 6. So we had four and five years. So I was, a, I was an angry man for a while, because they were all. <laughs> <laughs> now now we've settled in. It's a lot. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, no, they're, they're the best. What's that? We're like, we don't have that. You know so yeah, so I'm I'm here mostly in Utah, mm -hmm. but I travel for That's my events. I don't. I've never been to Australia. Do come. I'd love to come someday, <laughs> but I've, I've I've performed obviously other places. But normally, yeah. this year I've been to Florida, Las Vegas, 
back and forth to New York and L.A., mm -hmm. kind of the major cities where they have huge conventions. So it's this is my job normally. It's basically convention work. All convention work. Yeah. Once in a while, you'll see me at a charitable <laughs> event. Never can you pay a ticket to come see me perform alone. No. So I don't do that. I used to, yeah. I used to do ticketed events at theaters around the country. And people could come see Jason perform his show of music and comedy. Uh, now it's just these private events. Gives me more time with my family. So I only do a couple of these a month. And it's great. So I make a living. I can, as they say, pay tithing. <laughs> it's great. So it's good. <laughs> Feed your kids occasionally. Feed them once important. in a while. Just throw the food. <laughs> nah. What's your favorite part about music? Well, the energy here is only rivaled by the direct sales, multi-level marketing companies that I've done events for. Most events do not have this feeling of excitement, energy, but also I'm doing something significant. Like that's yeah. really what's cool, the driving passion mm -hmm. that makes it so all of these kind of crazy genealogical people are doing these amazing things and the, and the energy here is staggering. I love it. And combine that with the spiritual aspect, you feel you feel something very different about this event than any other event I'm doing. Mm -hmm. So I, I love it. It's great. Yeah. I've done, I've done a little bit of family history. I, I'm certainly even before beginner, but I mean, I'm still working on it. I had to learn enough just to do what I did on the stage, which was like, hey, let's go to the family tree, tree app, and yeah. let's click here and do that. I had to really go through and put pictures in for my family tree and other things that only I see, but I... I needed to do so it's been fun to do, learn it I'm, yeah. not, I'm not like a pro do you often work with apps um, to collaborate with the audience like you did yesterday uh, no, normally nobody has that op uh, it's, no, yeah. no but if it's an association that's a large group like 10,000 people like this kind of audience mm. they would normally create an app for the event mm. and then I'll say okay everybody log into that you can email each other, you can connect with each other, and, and people love that. Oh, it, you know? It's just so good when you can involve the audience. Yeah. It's fantastic, right. yeah. And I mean, I could just be up there and do my show shtick, which people really like, but it's really, really cool when you can click a button and yeah. find relatives around you. <laughs> Some people can find relatives. Some people. You have none? No. Zero, zero. That's so fascinating, right? Yeah. But that's cool. That's cool. I know. That was funny. Yeah. The one with, what, 351 yeah. and 360, and they're coming. Cousins! I was like, no, oh, <laughs> of course you are. Why would you not be? <laughs> no, that's fantastic. That was funny. Yeah, I love yeah. this event. It's a great event. And I love the family history stuff, so I'm going to learn more and more and more. So you said you've done a little of your family history. Yeah. Do you know of any, like, um, famous or infamous relatives you have? <laughs> uh, let's see. So We're looking at one. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah so, so my middle name is named after my mother's maiden name. My middle name is Redford. And so a lot of people ask, looking am handsome. I related to Robert Redford? And I asked the genealogy department, can you help me know how I'm related to Robert Redford? Because on my mom's side, they've always said he's like a third or fourth cousin. Okay, genealogy department goes through it all. They cannot find the connection to my mom for, for this huge distance. And then they found a closer one through my dad's line. Uh. <laughs> Here's a Hewlett name. <laughs> how funny is that? <laughs> I was like, that's... No, I'm gonna make my mom so mad. Her clean to Don't tell mom. No, no, but I mean, it's just kind of funny how these things work because you never know. And then my my younger son, younger than Redford, my son Romney, he has a what would be considered now a famous name. But yeah. it, when we named him Romney in 2008, and then Mitt Romney started to run for president at the same time. That was an interesting thing. Uh, he's named, our son is named after my great 
great grandmother made in me. Right. And so uh, Mitt and I are related eventually, but not so close either. So uh, as far as infamous, I would be the only one. Just you.